today's Whiteboard Leadership Moment, I want to talk to you about personal change. Uh, I know if I told you a lot of my story early in my Christian life, I had great difficulty in figuring out next steps to take, uh, not just as a disciple, but as a, as a leader. And, and I found that there were a few things that I, I learned over the years from many different people uh, that were common ground for leaders that were making huge differences in how they live their lives and the effectiveness of their leadership. And I want to talk to you about that today. Uh, in the Bible, there's a, a few words for, for time. The first word is, is chronos. Chronos is, a, is that, that word that has to do with, with seasons, with rhythms, uh, with uh, like the waves of the sea and, the, uh, and, the, and the, the sun and the moon and the cycles that they're in. It's a really important word in, in the Bible for those, those rhythms of, of life. The other word is the word kairos. Kairos is the word used in Ephesians chapter 5 where it says make the most of every opportunity. And so we as leaders have to understand that there are catalytic moments in life and there are discipline issues in life and we need to take advantage of both those things. So as I train leaders, here's what I tell them to do. First of all, I tell them to, to choose, their, choose their goal. You know, what is it that you want to accomplish? Uh, your goal could be a, a personal goal in the area of physical discipline or perhaps spiritual discipline. Maybe it's a, a marriage issue, but you, you want to see that area of life improve. And so what I, I ask them first is this, to take the, the Kairos moments and say, what are, the, what are the catalytic moments, what are the catalytic things that I can do that would move me forward in that? Let's take, for example, if your issue was marriage and you wanted your marriage to be better. Well, a catalytic moment could be that you're going to choose to read a book on marriage together with your spouse. Or maybe you're going to go to a, a, a marriage event. The, the key to these catalytic moments is that they're, they're one-time events. In other words, you do it one time and it'll get you started. It'll get you, it gets you moving forward on that one thing. Um, uh, maybe it's a physical discipline. Maybe you want to get healthy. And so a catalytic moment would be to join a gym. Now, now you've probably figured out that, that being, making that one time decision is, is not actually enough. Uh, because many of us have gym memberships. Um, just like in your church, many people have church memberships, but are they attending every week? It's a whole different story. Are you exercising three times a week? Whole different story. And so not only do you need those opportunity moments, you also need those rhythm moments, those discipline moments. And so you have to ask yourself, what, what disciplines do I, do I need in order to move forward in this? Let's take physical training, for example. Uh, you made the decision to, to go to the gym, but the discipline is how many times a week will I actually uh, go? And so you may look at, at uh, things that, okay, do I do this daily? Do I do it weekly? Do I do it monthly? And, or do I do it quarterly? In those cases, you're, you're talking about a discipline. I'm going to make sure I do this on a regular basis. Once you get past quarterly, once it's yearly, I'm just going to put that in the catalytic side of things. And so it may be, for example, on, the, on your spiritual life, that daily you're going to have a devotional time. Daily you're going to, you're, you're going to uh, journal, uh, for example. Uh, here, here's what I would tell you to do, to make a few major decisions and then to, to manage them daily. Make a few major decisions and manage it weekly. And these are the things we have to, have to do. And, and where you lack discipline, add structure. Uh, for a whole lot of people, they, they, they lack the discipline and so they need a, a partner, for example, to meet them weekly for accountability or, or perhaps there's a monthly retreat they want to go on. They have a partner to go with them on the retreat or, or they have a friend to keep them accountable to make sure that they go on this, this quarterly getaway, a three-day getaway for themselves. But whatever you need to do in those things, you do. There's one last uh, thing that you need to think about when it comes to actually making personal change. Uh, you can have all the right decisions here and do these catalytic things. You can have all the right disciplines and say, these are the disciplines I'm going to apply to my life. But if you don't put them actually in your calendar, they simply won't happen. You've got to have catalytic moments. You've got to have the right disciplines. But in the end, you've got to have the time to do it. And so, like I said before, make a few major decisions and manage them daily. Let's say, for example, that your goal, your desire is to grow spiritually. And so one of your disciplines is this. You want to you journal every single morning. Well, that's make a few decisions and manage it daily. I'm going to journal every single day. So last night, what I did in my night, I said, what time do I need to be at work tomorrow? I figured that out. I dropped back an hour and a half and said, that's when I need to get up. And every single day, it's different. Uh, some days I'm on a flight at 6 a.m., which means I'm getting up at 3 some days I get to sleep in until 9 o'clock, which is fantastic. 
and it means that I, I can actually start, I can, I can just sleep in on nine and do my, my journaling then. But the important part is that you put it in your calendar. You figure out where it fits in your time schedule. People who do this and they choose one, I encourage you to choose one discipline, whether it's physical or spiritual or relational, choose one thing and over a long period of time, three months or so, focus on that one thing, get it down, and then you can add another. My hope for you is you get stronger as a leader, you'll have more discipline, you'll have more catalytic moments, it'll fit in your calendar and you'll grow in your leadership. This has been a Converge Whiteboard Leadership Moment. To learn more about Converge or to join us, check out converge.org.